Welcome to the first segment of my UK and EU tour diaries, the tour that we weren't sure would actually happen. After rescheduling it twice due to COVID, cancellations, and lost venues, it finally happened. 21 days, 11 shows, 9 countries, and endless adventures. Before we get into it, it is important for me to mention that as this tour was happening and as these vlogs come out, the touring industry is oversaturated, fragile, and suffering. The cost of touring is high, many people don't have the extra money to attend shows, and COVID has changed how we feel about going to concerts in general. Every day, it feels like we are reading a different artist's announcement on social media that they're canceling a tour because of the cost and stress. These are very real issues, and they're issues that we faced with every show on this tour. That being said, I feel extremely lucky that we were able to do these shows and extremely thankful to everyone who came out and supported. We wouldn't have been able to do this without you. We're not that early. No, we're, really we're right on time. I don't know. Huh? New York. We're flying here. Just waiting. We decided to wait for boarding. I'm lined up. <laughs> Our trip. Our trip starts now. Plus an extra two thousand five hundred miles. We're on our flight to London, and I have a spot dot on my head because I got anxious and picked out my skin, but this flight feels so empty, but it smells like cigarettes, so that scares me. Does that scare you at all? Like, it's kind of freaking me out. Like, it smells like a weird hotel where someone smoked yeah. in it, and then they had to, like, clean it out. Like, I'm tempted. I think it's a smoke. Like, so that's probably why. It smells so much like cigarettes, it's actually disgusting. Is that okay? This flight is so unhinged, I don't know. I've never seen this before. Like... No, because this is like... Is this a new demo one? Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll update you yeah. later, maybe. As our plane started its descent into London, I felt the very particular excitement you experience when landing in a foreign country. The realization that you are far from all that is familiar, and that thousands of possibilities and new experiences await you. We decided to take the Heathrow Express into the city. It was our first time taking the train, and we were not prepared for how arduous getting to the train with our bags would be. By the time we made it to the platform, we were overheated, overwhelmed, and exhausted. It wasn't until we were on the train, watching the brick buildings and landscape rush past us from the train window, that my discomfort began to ease. We made it to our Airbnb. This is what the UK is like. And I got Pringles on our first flight in Vermont, so. It almost feels like contraband, like I'm eating an American Pringle on British soil. Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah. But. The, what's it called? How do you call when you go through security? The immigration or whatever? Customs. Customs took like literally 10 minutes. It was crazy. Like no one questioned us about anything. I don't know. It's like we were here by like 12 and we got here at like 930. And we went on a train. 
We've done a lot there. And this shower just sprayed all over me because I went the mm -hmm. wrong way and it went. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to eat these. And I'm going to read this book about oligarchs. What book? The oligarchs. And then we're going to go do something, so. This is just too low. I sometimes do these things and then. But is this too tall? Like you can't see my no, outfit. That's great. Or. We've changed. Now we're gonna go find some food. I am gonna use this bag that I thrifted from Juicy. And I'm just wearing a really boring outfit. I tried to be more interesting, but I can't. Cause I'm tired and I get a free pass. But honestly, I'm kind of into this outfit. I might take off these earrings. So, do you think the earrings should stay or go? Do you think it's too much? I'm sipping an espresso. Yeah. So, Magic is some. sipping an espresso because we're in the UK, which has nothing to do with. It just feels like it here. It feels very European. Like the European. You know, we're not in Europe, we're in the UK, and I don't want to offend people. But we met our Airbnb host, which. I don't think we've ever met an Airbnb host. We have. Who? <laughs> so many. I can't remember one, so. This I married a lot. He's nice. He is nice. Told me about a book. He liked our Apple Watches. I think. Yeah. Can't tell. He seemed very excited. Yeah. So now he told us everything we can do here. Yeah, like we learned how to work the heat, which is huge for us. Oh, yeah, there's a and there's kittens, so. Do you see my stomach? We're hungry, we're gonna get food. Shoes. Cute bag. Oh, and earmuffs. Now we're gonna go venture out. I look like... To stay awake, we decided to walk to Buckingham Palace, which was close by. Next to the palace, in the Green Park, there was a memorial for Queen Elizabeth's setup, where people could leave flowers and letters. As an American, I don't really have a connection to the royal family, but as we were walking through the rows of decaying flowers and reading the letters people had written, I started getting emotional. The sadness, mixed with the smell of decomposing, was a little overwhelming, so we didn't stay for long. But I'm glad that we were able to visit it. Forget that you can only get like Americanos here. Yeah, we're in Americano territory. Some dinner, it tastes weird, but Mariel's putting Pringles on it. <laughs> it's a pesto um, tofu. Corn Pringles and fries. It's honestly maybe the pesto tastes weird. I don't know why. It's good though. It should be. It's not yeah. bad. We got some pesto pasta with baby corn. It needs Parmesan or lemon or something. I put Pringles. We have these little. Palm bears. <laughs> We're trying our hardest, okay? It's our second day in London, and I am just getting ready to go to the show. It's about <laughs> 1.45. So Magic is out getting us lunch, and I just thought I'd come on here and show you me doing this, because I feel like I always do that now. It's kind of a ritual. The first London show of the tour, and that's kind of stressful. That finished quickly. I had to figure out what to do with my cell phone here, because my cell phone plan charges $10 a day internationally. And that was like really stressful for me yesterday and I feel like I kind of let it ruin my day because I was just like, I don't know what to do because I literally am on my phone all the time, texting, organizing, doing, doing, doing all these things, social media, all of it. I decided to stick with the $10 a day, which is stressful, but it is a business right off. It's just really annoying, so. We're eating lunch before we go to the venue. So Magic got food from this really cute place. Like that looks really cute. It's like 
Beverly Hills Hotel vibe. Love that a lot. And I got this again. This is my outfit for today. Maybe I can show you here. I kind of wore it recently, but. And these boots. I am getting. I'm texting the promoter. I'm posting. I'm checking my email. <laughs> next day, we woke up, took an Uber to the airport for a flight to Dublin, and as we sat at the Joe and the Juice in the Gatwick airport waiting for our gate to be announced, all I felt was excitement for the adventures that were ahead of us. That concludes the first part of my UK and EU tour diaries. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please like comment and subscribe. Next week we head to Dublin, Belfast, Glasgow, and Leeds.